Hello everyone, uh, this is a little video um, about our... Exciting. Uh... <laughs> yeah, sorry it's not very exciting this week. Well it is exciting if this sort of thing excites you. Um, I mentioned in last week's video um, what some of the uh, money that we get from our yeah. supporters goes towards because there's always something on a boat and uh, here's one of the things. Why are you looking so excited Deborah? <laughs> <laughs> My new washing machine's coming in about 20 minutes. And she can barely contain herself. Totally, yeah. Yeah, so we got back from visiting family. Loads of washing to do. And the washing machine decided to pack up. Now, I, um, some of you, if you've seen all my videos, I'll put the link there, I think. Um, you'd have seen me repair the washing machine a couple of years ago. Well, it's finally died. Yeah, so there's there's the space where the washing machine lives, and um, there's the little doors that I've got to get it through. Now the particular washing machine that we had <laughs> wouldn't go out through the doors. I think the doors are I measured it 55 centimeters wide, and I think the washing machine was 59 centimeters wide, and very heavy. It was a washer dryer, so I. I should have filmed it. I wasn't in the mood to film it when it went wrong. So I dismantled it, took the top off, took the front off the door, concrete block that sits on the top and the bottom. And with a little bit of wiggling, managed to get it through the doors and it was a lot easier. The hard bit is going to get the new one in. So we did a bit of research online, um, especially really or mainly for the depth of the washing machine um, and what it actually did. Um, you know what cycles what water it used etc whether it was in stock yeah whether yeah. it was in yeah. stock because obviously we needed one ASAP which I think narrowed it down to about three <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. yeah and just, we'd been home a few days we'd got washing from the week we'd been away so yeah. by the time the washing machines um, delivered we'd have like nearly two weeks worth of washing which for me is like three pairs of boxer shorts <laughs> <laughs> he jokes <laughs> Yeah. And uh, we narrowed it down to the one, ordered it on the Friday and got it on the Monday. Yeah. So, it's, you know, it's, it was a couple of days wait, but we, we was OK with that. You know. And this is what unfolded. I'm assuming the lorry's going to come over there and we've got to get it all the way along down this jetty here. And then across from there onto there. and in through my small hole. Yeah, and I've checked the weight and it's 65 kilos. Um, and it's not so much the weight, it's physically nowhere really to get hold of it, to lower it in. So I might actually have to dismantle it to um, uh, get it in the boat, which will probably invalidate my warranty. But I shan't mention that on screen just in case anybody from Curry's is watching. And I just remembered I've got to take the um, Morse control lever off. I had a look the other day, was fiddling about with the linkage at the back, looked really complicated, but there is an easy way to do it. Yeah, and they're 165 pounds. If you break them, it works out expensive. But this cover comes off, revealing a grub screw, and remove the screw and the whole lever comes off. Voila. Just a quick double check. Fifty-five and a half or five hundred and fifty-five millimeters. So, providing the um, dimensions were correct on the data sheet from Hot Point or whoever, whoever it was, I can't remember, um, that should go in there. Well, the delivery man is five minutes away, and right on cue, it started to rain. So. Uh, last thing I needed well it stopped raining it's here nice delivery men dropped it off um, just gonna go to work and start stripping it down to get it in now to make these a lot lighter in the top here, um, you've got a big concrete block and that's just held on by four coach bolts.
There we go. Well, it's through, <laughs> it's through. So just got to put the concrete uh, block back on the top, put the lid on, plumb it in, plug it in. What are you doing, Deborah? I'm actually removing the transit bolts now they are quite important they keep all of this stable while it's traveling so once you take them off it would be a good idea to keep them in a safe place um, so that whenever you do want to move the machine again anywhere else you know you can put them back on and it'll keep it safe and come on pull my finger let's get in there yeah just just there as those four bolts Lefty Lucy. Well, it's all in and level, and we're just going to run us one cycle just to check that that seals well. Um, that's where the skin fitting is. Yeah, and it only only pokes through uh, a little way, so I can only just get the Jubilee clip on. It's, it's been all right all the time we've been on here, but a sod's law, if I put all the lid back on and conceal all that, that will uh, leak. Yeah, and as you can see, all went well, no leaks. Yeah, a little bit of a, a little bit awkward to get in. Um, the dimensions were perfect what it said um, mm. on the box or on the the data sheet is what it should have been um, and as you you see I just had to do a little bit of dismantling just purely to make it lighter and easier get, to yeah, get give me a way to um, get hold of it to lift it in by myself people in the marina had offered but there isn't really room to in get two people shed. around it yeah in my man shed yeah. so what we're going to be using in your new washing machine we're going to be using um, the Eco Laundry Egg. Yeah, we actually it's been we in the cupboard. bought this. We was moored in a storm on the Lechlade arm of the Thames. Two, it was March 2019 when we bought this. We was already using eco-friendly um, washing, washing liquid, liquid, but we wanted to go the whole hog because this saves loads of money. But it's just been in my man cave ever since. We've never got round to using it. Yeah, I think I'm a little bit old-fashioned, and it, you, you just put your stuff in, and your and your fabric conditioner, and and, I, and and it's took me a long while. But we've got this new washing machine, and I'm thinking, right, you know what? Let's go for it and see. You can still use fabric conditioner if you want. Um, these have got a, a smell, um, but basically, what you do is you've got some tourmaline. Torma lean ceramic pellets um, and basically you put those in as we shall now demonstrate and then what you add then is yes yeah, so I don't know whether you can whether you can see them just little little balls in there yeah and then you add three bags of the mineral pellets these are the ones that will sort of I suppose soften the water etc and these ones are fresh linen smell so i don't know uh, what that's gonna be like let's have a sniff um <laughs> not fresh linen no oh, but I oh, oh. I can't. Beep. <laughs> we had an old tomcat <laughs> <laughs> 
assuming because they've been maybe, in there a long yeah, time. Yeah, maybe once they're in water. These we're not selling this, are we? No. Yeah, right. Let's uh, take two. Fresh linen. Mm. <laughs> this is where husbands come in really mm. handy. And once you've got all your your balls in, <laughs> there's uh, this is we couldn't get this to work because we didn't have our arrows lined up. There's two little arrows on there that you just line up. Um, spin to lock. That is now locked, and that will last us for. Um, well, we got the. It says seven hundred and twenty. We got washes. the three-year pack, yeah. so we don't need to buy laundry detergent for three years. The black, the little black balls, the tall they ones, last, they, last, they forever. last forever. And every so many months, you just replace these. Yeah, so let's go over to the uh, the wash machine and what, put our, put watch our egg in. Yeah. yeah, watch this space. What are we banging in, Deborah? On? Um, a couple of pairs of jeans, um, one of Mark's tops, and yeah, here we go. Right, and then you put the egg in. Yeah, I was quite surprised actually, or pleasantly surprised. Um, the, the and all, or just let me butt in here. I know I shouldn't butt in. <laughs> all, all joking aside, my little remark about the tomcat that was the the, the linen did come out smelling yeah, uh, like freshly washed linen. Linen, yeah. And and the suds that that appeared. I mean, there weren't as many as you would if you was using a, a washing powder or washing liquid. Um, but it's still they. The stuff still come out and felt clean as well because I'm a little bit funny with my washing and you know a, sort of a stick in the mud if you like um, but I was really really surprised and quite happy so I'm a convert yes yeah yes. and um, like I said we bought the um, the three-year package I think the packaging has changed slightly since we've <laughs> since yeah. we've bought it but I will stick links down below um, where you can get these from obviously you can buy them anywhere if you use these links we make a small commission from it and it costs you um no more but no, no ha highly recommend those yeah and there's three um different flavors. versions of flavors, flavors. yeah um, which was linen fresh spring blossom and fragrance free for people that didn't want the fragrance yeah so that's uh, yeah, yeah quite good well impressed yeah, so I think that's about it for this week. Next yeah. week's video, well, I say next week, it all depends whether I pull my finger out and get it edited for next week. But massive, not how to, but how I do. One I've been planning um, to do for nearly two years, and well, you know, with boat life, I've only just got around to doing it. But um, I've actually implemented what I wanted to do. I filmed it, so I've just got to edit it and upload it, and you should like this. Yeah, and as always, just a massive thank you to yeah, all our supporters, so whether it be on PayPal or Patreon. Um, as you can see, uh, your support really, really does help. Yeah, yeah. thank you so, yeah, thank so you much. Thank you so, so much. And if you've enjoyed this little video, press the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, please, please, please press the subscribe button. If you want future notification of any other videos we <laughs> upload, I will do this in one take. The bell icon. And uh, we shall see you yeah. all next week. Don't forget your comments. Don't forget your comments. Keep Love the comments em. coming. Okay. Bye. Bye.